You want to know if C Sharp is the right programming language for you in your situation to learn in 2022. In this video, I'm going to talk about it. My name is Alec. I've been a developer since 2018, managed to work with dozens of different companies in different industries, even though I don't have a college degree. And when it comes to choosing programming languages, a lot of people would think that just choosing any programming language that has a lot of demand is a good option that will allow you to get jobs. C Sharp is one of those programming languages that does have a lot of demand. And yes, there's some truth to that. I'm going to be honest with you. If you learn something like C Sharp that has a lot of demand, you're going to have a lot better chance of getting a job than if you learn something like Visual Basic. But the thing is, you have to take into account what these specific jobs are looking for. The thing about C Sharp, okay, is that there is a lot of jobs to C Sharp, but you have to understand that they are jobs at the enterprise level. C Sharp uh, is not a programming language that is very used in small businesses. It's not a programming language that is very used on making small projects like websites. It's usually used at the enterprise level to build a big application with teams of like 30 people to make applications that are going to be used by thousands of businesses. And the types of companies that use C Sharp to build these applications, the type of companies that offer these C Sharp jobs tend to be bigger companies and corporations. And these types of companies usually require college degrees. Thing is, if you've been following my videos, you know I don't have a degree and I still manage to get a job very easily. In fact, I didn't have to send more than two resumes to get my first job. And the interesting thing about it is that these two resumes that I sent were to both types of companies. One of them was to a very big company and the other one was to a small agency. The big company never answered me, never heard anything from them. And the other company, the small agency, the small agency offered me an interview the same day that I offered my resume and I got the job. And I think the best way to illustrate the big difference between these two is once I was working at that job, the small agencies, the, the small agency that hired me, they ended up posting a job offer on Facebook. And essentially what they said is, hey, we'd love for you to have a college degree, but if you don't and you're awesome, that's okay. Apply anyway. That's their mentality. That's very different from a lot of corporations and big businesses. And the thing is, it's possible to get a job without a degree. I've done it. But if you're going with C Sharp and trying to find jobs uh, that most C Sharp jobs are in corporations, it's going to be more difficult because in corporations and big businesses, they're usually less willing to give you a chance if you don't have a degree. Instead, if you want a job and you don't have a degree, you're probably better off just learning JavaScript because JavaScript uh, has a lot of demand too, but it's also very used in small businesses. And in my opinion, if you're just starting out, you want to get your first job as fast as possible and you don't have a degree, uh, you're, you'd be better off with JavaScript unless you want to work in game development. And the reason I recommend C Sharp if you want to get into game development is that unlike other game development languages, the thing is, if you fail to get a job in game development or you get a job in game development and you realize that, hey, they're working you a lot harder than other developer jobs because they know a lot of people want to get into game development and uh, they can afford to work you harder. If you need a plan B, you can still try with C Sharp to get jobs. And, and although it's used at the enterprise level, uh, C Sharp, since there's a lot of jobs, it still gives you a better chance to end up with a job than other programming languages. So if you want to get into game development, that's one of your options. If you just want to get, do game development like I do uh, in your hobbies, don't learn C Sharp. Instead, you should go with JavaScript, get a job with JavaScript, and after that, maybe use Game Maker or something like that to do your games in your hobby time. And one of the biggest things that I hear people say about programming is if programming is so in demand right now, why is it so hard to get a job? And there's a lot of reasons for it. And one of them is that a lot of people just end up in that situation where getting a job is difficult because they've learned the wrong programming language. And I remember one time I got my first job and after a couple of months, my boss came to me and he said, hey, I'm sorry. Like, I know you have all these technologies that you know, but I don't have more jobs for you. If you can't learn PHP and this technology for PHP, you might have to go find jobs elsewhere. And the reason at that point that I had not learned PHP is because I thought PHP looked boring. And the thing is, if you want to be working, building websites like I do, the learning PHP should be one of the first programming languages on your list of priorities. But I did not because I thought PHP looked boring. So you have to consider which programming language are going to give you jobs as fast as possible and as easily as possible, but also the conditions of these jobs once you get them. You have also have to consider 
what kind of money that you're going to make after that. I did not learn C sharp and I will not learn C sharp because I realized that the most money to be made in this industry and in development is in freelancing and at not just freelancing, but freelancing for small businesses. There's three ways of doing freelancing. There's freelancing working for big corporations. There's freelancing on sites like Upwork where actually you're going to find a lot of agencies that are looking for people to build websites for them. And there's also freelancing approaching small businesses that need websites directly, not working, not working with a middleman. And that's actually where the money is. And if you want to be doing that and do like I do, like charge $85 an hour, you, you mainly end up building websites which are very simple coding projects for a lot of small businesses that pay you $85 an hour. These are not projects that you're going to be using C Sharp. The question is not whether or not there's a lot of jobs for C Sharp. It's not whether or not C Sharp is cool, whether or not C Sharp looks cool to code in. It's what, what future are you going to get depending on what programming language that you're going to learn. And the way that I look at it, yes, there's a lot of jobs available, but there are jobs that are probably going to be very hard for you to get because let's face it, if you want to learn C Sharp online, you're probably not having a degree. So getting these jobs are going to be hard. But again, unless you want to get a future in games development, I wouldn't learn C Sharp. Do JavaScript instead. It's also incredibly in demand and the options that open up to you are much better than C Sharp. And from there, like the problem with C Sharp jobs is not that they do not pay well and that they don't look good. It's actually that getting them is difficult. And if you get experience with JavaScript, get your first couple of jobs and, you know, build a portfolio. After that, if you want, you could transition to C Sharp if that, if that looks interesting. But you have to take into account that you're starting a career and you don't have a degree and getting started, getting your first job is the biggest milestone that you have to hit. And if you don't manage that, you're not going to have a career in web development. And the faster you can get to that job, the faster you can get this experience, the easier it's going to be for the rest of your career. Because once you have experience, everyone wants experienced developer. It's getting your first jobs that, that, that are difficult. And, it, and once you get that experience, you can learn whatever technology you want and you're probably going to have a job easily. And if you don't, well, at least you will have learned something Thing like JavaScript that ensures that even if you learn C Sharp afterwards and maybe you don't get a job in C Sharp or Python or whatever other technology you learn, at least you will have learned JavaScript and that gives you good insurance that you're going to get jobs easily in the future. And if you're wondering how I managed to charge $85 an hour, well, actually, I'm a web developer and I make websites. And if you want to become a web developer, uh, I'm, I made a video on how to, to learn web development and a video of how to build your resume to get your first job in web development, if that's what you're interested in. I actually, in that video, I share with you the exact resume that I used to get my first job. So, so you will have a good example of something that did work. If you want to see these videos, I'm going to put links in the description down below so you can check them out to learn web development and see how to get your first job. With that said, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.